All right, guys. So we're going to be doing task eight, privilege escalation capabilities. Um, so just looking at the notes here, they're basically telling us to run get cap to see a list of programs that um, have capabilities enabled with the uh, lowercase or uppercase S um, within the, uh, the privileges here. And we can exploit the um, capabilities to escalate our privileges. So first you were enumerating, we're just checking to see which um, programs will allow us to utilize capabilities. And those are the ones we're then going to cross-reference with uh, G FTO uh, bins and verify if there's any um, exploits we can run. So what we're gonna do here is just start the machine, which I already have started. I actually just completed this one and I just wanted to go over it and teach you guys, also solidify my memory so I know what I'm doing. All right, so here we're gonna do, so I'm just gonna go to an SSH in. I've restarted my machine. One, two, five, all right, great. Password. All right, great. So I'm in. First thing I like to do whenever I start D is just do PWD so I can see where I'm at. I'm in the home Karen directory and, you know, probably Karen, but I always do the who am I, uh, who am I, Karen, cool. So, of course we're Karen because we just logged in as Karen. All right, <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're going to utilize the command that they tell us to run, which is here, I think it's here, yeah, get cap, dash r forward slash s and then we're just pointing all of our errors to the dev null so we don't get all those errors on our screen because if you run just get cap dash r you'll just get a bunch of errors i did it and it didn't look pretty so i'm going to go ahead and paste this command in the comments below I always throw in the comments i can't throw in the description because youtube blocks me from doing that uh so that kind of sucks, but just check the comments if you're, maybe you're mistyping, doing typos and you're just having a bad day. Believe me, I've been there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. And then we're gonna get a list of, oh, snaps. I don't know why I always do that with my mouse. I'm always like trying to, there we go. I'm always just trying to create more space. Okay, I need my space. <laughs> so. Here we see we can run ping, vim, and view. I tried running vim, it didn't work. So let's go ahead and try view. <laughs> so if we look at view, let's see. Well, actually, let me look at um. Let me look at vim one more time. Let me see if if maybe I was doing something wrong because I would give it the old college try if I can. Let's see. Um, no, no, I was totally doing it wrong. Okay, no worries. So if I go to GFTO bins, let me go to bring it up. All right, great. I have it up now. Okay. And I did some reading because, you know, Try hack me. They just scraped the surface of this, and I really want to understand this. So if I, um, you know, I'm trying to enumerate later down the road, I actually know what the heck I'm doing. So let's look here. We're looking at view, and just so you know, all I just did was go to GTFO bins. I typed view in here. I clicked on view binary here, and then I give you some commands you can run to uh, run a privilege. Um, escalation here and 
we see this one here, view dash C and then Python import OS ex CL and then bins sh and then that command, right? So interesting thing about that command, if you run it just raw the way it is, it won't run, it won't work. And the reason is, is because, you know, after doing some rating, I kind of now understand why that, why that didn't work. Um, makes sense. Again, just one of those things where you kind of have to really get down to the nitty gritty to comprehend what the heck's going on here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to look at my notes here. And so here we have the directory at the home Ubuntu view. And that is where we have our view application. Okay. And if you navigate on your trihackney box to that location, you will indeed see that. Let's go ahead and go there now. Home uh, uh, CD. And let me go ahead and put this kind of like in the center so you guys don't have to like look down at the bottom. Um, let me go ahead and pull this up a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. CD slash home slash Ubuntu slash view. Um, can't CD into view. Okay, of course, because, well, that's not going to work. So let me do this instead. So we'll just grab that, copy. Paste Ubuntu, all right, LS. And then we can see flag four, which we want to get to, and the view. So what I'm doing is I'm just saying, hey, this is the view file here. I'm giving you the path so you know where it's at. And then uh, dash Python 3, because that's what they got on the computer that we're exploiting. Import OS, and that's because, well, you know, GFTO told us to put that. And this is where it gets interesting. Set UID zero. So what the heck is that? <laughs> so what that's gonna do is uh, when an execute, let's just step back. When an executable file runs the set UID permissions, it is set. Users may escalate that program with the level of access that matches a user who owns the file. Right, so that's what it does. So you, you're basically able to run that file at the same permission level as the person who owns that file. Now, the set UID means that an executable can run under different permissions than the user that executed it. I mean, that just sounds like the perfect scenario for us to do a privilege escalation. So having the set UID at zero is basically meaning that we're running it as root. So when the program runs, it will run as if it root ran it, which leaves you open to all types of unusual security risk of running something at a higher permission level. If you could potentially do anything to your system, so generally the number of applications that require set UID should be minimal on a Unix box. So, and, you know, it just goes into saying that most security audits will look for the set UID and the set GID files. Right, because those can be um, run at a higher permission. So the set UID zero basically says, hey, run this as root. That's why when it does run it, you will have a root shell, essentially. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And by the way, don't run this command here. Um, I was just experimenting with it, but I will put the commands that you need to run in, in the uh, comment area. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in my selection. Hopefully this runs because I you know I always run into issues. All right, let's see here. And I'm gonna do who am I? I'm root baby. Yeah, we're in. So I'm gonna do uh, LS, see where I'm at. Oh hey, flag four is there. Let's go ahead and take a look at flag four, flag. Uh, 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 cat flag or dot text and bam we got the flag right there and you can just go ahead and put your flag in here 
other binaries we can use through his capabilities. We just use view. So you go ahead and put view in. Uh, how many binaries have set capabilities? When we're looking at that list of files that we can run, there are six. So you can just input it there if you want to go back and replicate that and count them if you want. But I'm just telling you it's six. Most importantly, you know what the heck you're doing, and that's what's important. So next time you run into this and you're trying to enumerate a Linux box, you can think back, use the force, and summon my knowledge to say, check, check the... Uh, get cap commands. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like that content, go ahead and like this video and subscribe because it motivates me to create more content. Um, Till next time, see you later.